Hey guys, let's see about uh, some global variables in PHP. There are several of them and these are a few I'm going to touch for this one session. I have already created a video. I'll put the link in the description. But today I'm going to touch upon these three variables, get, post and globals. Okay, so uh, let's see how to do that. First of all, let's create a very simple HTML form which I've already created. So form method get, this one. It means, first of all, I'm going to use this get, okay? And uh, this file that I am right now in front of you, uh, it is demo.php, okay? Whereas the action is demo1.php. And in this form, we have just one email and submit button, okay? I'm using XAMPP and let's see. So this is my simple form, just one email and then submit button, okay? So for example, I put this one. So when I press submit button and I go to the next page, notice this URL, this is important. So let's see, this is quite small. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put on the next page. So next page looks like this, my local host demo demo1.php, now I am on demo1.php here, where you see nothing actually. An email, and this is the email address I have provided. So this email is this variable name, okay. Now I have this information, I'm particularly interested in this, this, this part. And let's see, what do we have? So this is variable name and it has some value, right? Now, um, I want to display this value, this value inside a method. I have two ways that you already know. For example, uh, one way you already know is I will get that value, let's say email, dollar sign email and dollar sign get There is that email uh, variable that I am having here on the previous page. This is the same thing. So I get it and I put it here. Now I have two ways, either I pass it from here and receive it here and then echo it. Okay, let's see. Because I already have it, I just refresh the page and I get it. All right. So this is a lengthy process. Uh, so PHP has come up with the option that, okay, no need to pass these values through a function. You just have a function and you call it. And this value, you don't need to put it here and then put it, pass it and receive it and show it, no. So this is called global variable. So we don't need this part. Simply, we have this thing, no need for this one. I can simply echo that, okay? <clears throat> so this this get has access for all the variable that are coming from the previous page. So let's see, do we get it? Okay, still we get it. Refresh it, get it, okay? Uh, another variable that is called post, same way. I go back, this time I say method is post then I go there, I just need to change here, post, okay. The only thing is I need to go back, refresh this page, send another value. Now I get this one, okay. So if you're sending through post, you have to do that here as post, okay. Uh, you can't put like get now. undefined email, okay? Because it's sending from get. Okay, so both of, of these are uh, uh, get post are like that. Another one is globals without underscore. Okay, so let's see uh, what does it do? Can I simply put this one? Globals here and email, let's see. Okay, 
now so what is the um, uh, purpose of this one for that one this again a little bit less than passing value from here and putting it here but this is a little bit uh, less effective or you can say uh, get and post these two are more powerful than this one for this one we can't do like this so i have to put like this um dollar sign email same way that we did before okay first we need to get our post so what i did previously is post so same thing here dollar sign underscore post here is email all right so now i get that in email now this email without dollar sign i put it here now i'm not passing any value but i can still see that all right this is the mechanism here Okay, 